All right guys, good morning. Uh, my plan today is to do a um, ceramic coating on my BBSs as well as play with a tire coating. You know, tire coatings, I don't know, we'll have to see how this goes, but I'm using um, Fine Lab products. So this is their, um, this just came out maybe three or four months ago. This is a you know, semi-permanent um, gloss black tire coating. And then their wheel and caliber. This has been out for a while. Um, this will be my first time trying it. These are my um, 20 by nine ET38 BBS CIR wheels. I run these with a five millimeter offset, so that pushes the, I'm sorry, five millimeter spacer, which pushes the offset to 33. It's actually a great fit. I bought these wheels from my, you know, parts guy up in Boone, um, Mops. So if you don't know Mops, check out Nemesis Auto Sports. Ben has a website, but primarily does all his business, you know, through the forums, Facebook, you know, call him, text him, you know, great guy. I get all my parts for the Audi from him. The wheels are clean. I cleaned them um, when I took them off the car. So I do want to, we'll, we'll go over prep. And then that thing over there, that's an infrared lamp. If you're unfamiliar with infrared curing, it's, it's mandatory on certain professional grade coatings. I don't know of a consumer grade coating where it's needed, um, but definitely on some mandatory, like on my Heel Light on my S4, it's mandatory. On the Heel Plus it is. Um, not many, you gotta get into the you know, upper end of, of ceramics. Let's talk about normal prep. So if I was doing a client's car, if I was doing these fresh off the car, it would be a very thorough, safe wash clay treatment, tar removal if needed, iron X treatment, um, it's all in the prep. The, the cleaner you get the wheels, the better the ceramic's going to bond to the surface. One at a time. All right, uh, Shine Supply Wise Guy. Now the, the tire shine, I really bought it just for fun. You know, I don't, I'm curious to see how it goes. But the wheel coating I like, especially because these are set in black, the stock brakes in the S4, just brutal brake dust. So we're probably gonna do the, the wheel coating first, and then the tire coating. Um, but I wanna get all four wheels prepped inside and out. I am selling these wheels if you're local or wanna drive to Charlotte, let me know. The current price is 2200 with the tires. So you'll get a freshly coated set of wheels Tire coating for fun. These are one year old. Tires are clean. This is just IGL pre coat. I'm just trying to think of all these little bottles. Just want to get rid of it. Curve change. Ha. I want to clean. Well, the other thing I suggest for a lot of folks that don't want to go through this process is to use, I really like um, Gion Wet Coat for the wheels. Super easy application. When you get similar results, it obviously, you know, the last like a week. Where you spray it on, so you wash the wheels, you rinse them, you wash 
iron X clean as normal, and then the Gion wet coat, you know, a couple sprays per wheel and then rinse it right off. They're not terrible, but they're, what's it? it? The wheel is 27 pounds. That's, that's not bad for a 20 inch, but I, mean, I can get like 22, 23 pound wheels, 19s. We are all cleaned up. I was, I was just reading the instructions again. It's probably a good thing. So this is the wheel and tire. There it is. So fine lab wheel and tire. I'm gonna put two layers of this on. The dwell time is really, really long. Um, they said 30 to 45 minutes once it goes on. And they also recommended um, fine lab top coats. So I'm gonna put that on as the as the third layer. Now these are satin black. What I do like about the ceramic is it does give it a little bit of not gloss, but kind of darker darker look. In 35 minutes, let's see how sticky this is. That's not terrible. It's brand new microfiber. Right, this is the first coat. We'll put two coats on. This, we're gonna wipe them all down. Get the first layer off. Do the second layer. Wait the wait another 30 minutes. Wipe that off. Then do top coat. Then use the lamp. Yeah, it's a little sticky. Reminds me of C quartz. I don't like C quartz because it's, it's too grabby. It's a little grabby. Okay, we're doing the second layer. I waited way too long by the time I got around to the third and fourth wheel to take it off. And it was just super grabby. So for this one, second layer, I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to come back and immediately take it off. And we're going to wait another 30 minutes and put the top coat on and that'll be our, our final. I'll probably put a spray protect on top of it just for, I mean just for giggles. Do I have them off the car and I mean, Easy access to the barrels. Top coat. So this application is different than the prior wheel. It goes on, it comes off, you know, quickly. So top coat, you know, top coat is probably similar to the CarPro Gliss or Gion Skin. So I, I use top coat really for the aesthetics. So it has, you know, especially on paint, that's my first time doing it on wheels, but for paint, especially on dark colored cars, you know, it really gives a like a, a warmer look to ceramics. Ceramics can look a little artificial. So I was talking, I don't know, exchanging text messages from a fellow S4 owner and he's asking about you know products and you know things he can do to his cars and his wife's car and he was mentioning um Zyno. I, I've heard of Zyno, I don't have any direct experience with it. Um, you know, I was doing a little reading this morning and they sell it's like 15 part kits of, of all types of stuff. A lot of the basics, I mean shampoos, clays, 
Then again, there's polishes. These polishes have like little mixing capsules, and but it's all hand application. And he, you know, I guess it's it goes off the layering system. I don't know. It, it, it seems. I guess my initial hesitation with you know calling something a polish, but it's a hand application. In the two YouTube videos I saw about it, you know, the guys are just quickly going over the car, very similar to like a seal and wax application. You're not you're not polishing anything at that point. Like if all you're doing is you know a couple hand passes, you're not doing anything. So I think it's more it feels a lot more like a glaze. Because all these layers are talking about filling in, or um, removing defects. I think it's just filling. It's filling defects. So I don't know. That, that, that was a first for me. Now, a good question he did have was, you know, if I thought it was worth it to him for him to invest in polishers and to do a paint correction on his Audi, or you know, pay someone. Now he, he's a little far from me, he's you know, a couple hours. One thing I was trying to explain to him is these kits that they sell. There's a lot of kits you know, that'll sell a polisher and you know, four or so pads. Even some that'll sell the pads and some compounds. What I was, what I'm going to convey to him is those those kids are fine, just keep in mind that a lot of folks that I talk to underestimate um, the pads. Because taking those kids, for example, if they come with three pads or four pads, they're typically one of each. One heavy cut, of, uh, you know, medium cut, of fine, and ultra fine. And it's it doesn't work that way. If we're talking true paint corrections, you know, I was telling him that you know I'm, I'm going through or I'm using you know 10, 12, 14 pads depending on the car to get through it, and most of those are you know pads of identical cuts or crest levels and, and different sizes. Everyone has their own definition of what's acceptable, but if we're talking about you know, true on paint correction, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to approach it as paint correction as opposed to like a light polish. What I was trying to tell him earlier, especially for his wife's car, because his goals are to restore the luster and that protection. You know, and that's a very common thing I do you know, as far as during consultations and that's that's what that level two package is like loss of cancer. You know, it's, it's exactly that. And, it, and if he was local, you know, I would I would show him that. Um, you know, as far as a little bit of cut to remove defects, you know, fine defects, and then you know adding the protection. I digress. So we got one wheel left. This is pretty quick, straightforward. Alright, fine lab tire coating application kit. Okay, so there. So we have eight mils of each. That probably wasn't really enough. Tire. All right, I ended up mixing the, <laughs> the whole thing because I don't see myself using this again. Wait a minute, we have, I'm zoomed in a ton on one tire, I just want to show what this looks like. Oh wow, it's thick. Here we go. So, It's 
construction said even coverage, let it dry, and then come back and do the second layer. Completely unnecessary. So the wheel coatings, I think, are a little unnecessary. This is ridiculous. All right, I'll, I'll, I want to show you the tires. I've been using, so infrared lamp, right? Short wave infrared lamp. I'm going around and baking each tire uh, about 15 minutes. Try to get up to like 140 degrees. Now the tire dressing is on and it looks, it looks, it looks terrible. I'm really disappointed. I'm gonna try to, there's a lot of smearing. I know the end. Here's our little focus. Yeah, there we focus. Especially around the letters. I'm gonna try to even that out a little bit more. The wheels look great. Same thing. All right, so it, the tire shine is really getting hung up around the letters. Hmm. Well, it was all for fun, but it's a little disappointing. I don't know how long it's going to stay in this container. Oh, it's dry. something different. This is a, a two-inch pad from the hybrid. Let's see if maybe this will help me. Worth a shot. I think this was a big fail. The wheel coating's fine. That's gonna do its thing. Top coat and everything. It's really just this tire coating. You know, again, you know, 40 bucks for tire coating plus the time to put it on. I don't think you're, you're not gaining anything over just using you know, Harpo Pearl, the, you know, the normal way of doing this. Alright, with that said, I'm going to finish curing these things and call this a semi-fail, I guess. But if you made it this far, thank you for watching.